Good morning. It is Monday morning and uh, April 19th, getting close to the end of April. And uh, a little bit wet this morning, but supposed to turn into a, a nice day a little bit later on. Uh, hopefully the, the weather people, the weather experts are not proved wrong by God. Um, but uh, And then they say that there's supposed to be a freeze coming this week too. So I hope they are wrong. I hope God proves them wrong and that we do not get a freeze. Um, but uh, I, I think it's, it's supposed to be due, I guess, because we normally get a freeze at the end of April, beginning of May. And uh, then it's time to start planting. So, um, God bless you this morning. Thank you for joining us and for watching. Um, today is the day that that I use to uh, pray for everyone who's joined us online. And uh, so, if you are online and watching, uh, please leave me a a message or a, a wave or something so that I know that you're here. Um, otherwise. I do not see that you're online. Um, so, uh, good morning, Miss Carly and Miss Helen. Good to see you this morning. And my wife is joining me from across the living room here. <laughs> and um, I'm showing that we have more people online, but I don't know who they are. So, if you are online, please. Uh, send me something so that I know that you're here so I can pray for you because uh, that's what I, I normally do on Mondays. I, I pray for everyone who is uh, joining us online. So if you are here with us, uh, please uh, drop me a, a quick hello. Um, if you have not yet been involved with our small group uh, Bible studies, you are really missing out. Um, we had a wonderful time last night. We had 19 people at my house last night. It was a, a great time of fellowship, uh, some really good Bible study and some good conversation. Um, we have a great group of people and uh, it was really uh, enjoyable. If you are not yet involved in the small groups, uh, you really need to consider doing it. It's a not only is it a great time of fellowship and good food, uh, but it's a it's a great opportunity to uh, to grow in your relationship with the Lord, and so <coughs> excuse me, um, hold on just a second. I apologize. Um, I'm supposed to be going today uh, to get the results of the last test that they ran. Hopefully they're going to find something that will um, relieve this cough. I, I pray it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a horrible time. Um, so anyway, um, good morning, Miss Teresa and David. Good to see you all this morning. Uh, Miss Christy, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Um, so I was talking about the, the, the home group Bible studies. Uh, they are, both groups are, are getting bigger and we're probably going to end up splitting up and, and making uh, a, a couple more uh, small group Bible studies. Um, but it is a, a great time of uh, growing and learning uh, God's word better. Um, it's an opportunity where you can ask questions and, and uh, it's just conversation uh, conversation about God and what he's doing in our lives and and what he's doing in or what he has done in the lives of others uh, in back through history uh, so um, please consider uh, joining a small group uh, that is a great time um, so we are continuing to pray for uh, those on our prayer list uh, please remember Jeremy uh, he is having a real rough time right now. He's back in the hospital um, having some complications. Uh, I, I don't, I didn't understand if it was due to his treatment or if it was, if it's just uh, something on top of it. Uh, but he is, uh, he's had some serious complications and is not doing well. And so uh, please uh, remember Jeremy in your prayers. Um, add him to your prayer list, and also pray for um, for Catherine and Braden. 
as they're going through this time with him. Uh, it is always difficult to see uh, someone that you love um, in pain and hurting. And uh, so uh, please lift him up in your prayers. Uh, also, we are still praying for Cindy. She has uh, had uh, back issues for a long time and uh, pray that God would bring healing to her and, and give doctors wisdom to know how to uh, how to help her um, uh, how to help her through this. And uh, Miss Carly says that he had two blockages where the cancer used to be. So um, whatever that is that's causing those blockages, uh, uh, let's pray for him that that and pray for the doctors that that they can. That God will give them wisdom in knowing how to um, how to treat this and how to get it taken care of uh, for Jeremy. Um, continue to pray for Charles. Uh, he was it was determined that he was not a uh, good candidate for a liver transplant. And they have not given him much time to live. Um, his wife Mary is um, is really struggling. It's uh, difficult for her. In this time so please pray for Mary as well um, that uh, God would give her strength uh, through this difficult time and um, we're continuing to pray for Elisa who has a tumor on her thyroid uh, pray for Tony's health and um, and Miss Jane she is a such a blessing uh, we see her every Sunday morning. Her dedication to the Lord and, for, and to the church family is, is such a blessing. And I know that Tony would be there if he could, but his health has not been good lately. So um, just uh, continue to pray for him. Um, Teresa is going to have surgery on her neck tomorrow. Um, I talked to her yesterday. She said that God has given her peace about the situation and she's just ready to get it done and get it fixed so uh, praise God uh, for that and uh, Teresa just know that we are praying for you and and God is in control and and uh, we'll pray for that the doctors will uh, will have the wisdom and understanding to to uh, do things the right way and, and get your situation taken care of there um, <clears throat> We are uh, also praying for those who are in need of salvation. Um, Elijah and Jacob, Lisa, Oren, uh, Stephen, Tina, and Angie. So uh, please add them to your list for, for salvation. And let's go ahead and we'll get started praying for these. And again, if you are joining me online, uh, please leave me a message or, or just say hi or, or wave or something so that I know that you're there. Uh, because as soon as I'm finished praying for these on our prayer list, then we are going to start praying for all of you who, are, who have joined us here online. So um, I appreciate everyone that's here with us this morning. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, we praise you, God. Lord, you are an awesome an amazing father um, your love for us is undeniable and completely uh, we're, we're just not able to comprehend the the immensity the the greatness of your love for us father all that you do for us each and every day what you have done for us uh, through your son Jesus and salvation God, you are an amazing God, and we praise you and we thank you that uh, not only are you in control of the earth rotating around the sun and uh, spinning on its axis and, and bringing in the seasons and, and the sun rising and, and setting each evening and the ocean tides coming and, and going out each day, God, you are... Um, also the one who's placed the stars in, 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 their, in their place in the heavens and you have given each of them a name. Um, you are an awesome God and we praise you and thank you, Father. God, we thank you for the knowledge and understanding that you have given us about you through your word. Uh, we thank you, Father, that 
we know that you are not only um, a loving God, but you are a gracious and merciful and just God. And uh, you know, we have uh, those in our family who have um, chosen to uh, turn away, turn their backs towards you, and have not accepted your salvation. And we know that because you are a just God, that um, you cannot receive them unto you. And, and uh, but God, we, we lift these, uh, these individuals up to you. And there are many more, I'm sure, uh, throughout our church family <clears throat> who are in desperate need of your salvation. And uh, Father, we pray for your grace, your great grace. We pray for your mercy on these that we love and that we care for. God, that you would soften their hearts and uh, cause them to humble themselves before you, Lord, to uh, know and understand that you are uh, that you are real, that you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and that you desire to be their great loving Father as well. God, we pray that you would open their eyes to see the truth of your Word, that you would help them to understand that there is nothing in this world worth gaining if they uh, lose their souls. Uh, Father, we pray that you would draw them to you, that you would give them the desire to, to know you, and that they would come to the knowledge of your saving grace, Father. God, we lift up Jeremy to you. We pray your blessings on him as he's going through this difficult time. And uh, God, we pray that you would <clears throat> give the doctors wisdom, help them to know uh, what is going on exactly and what they need to do to correct it. Um, but God, we, uh, we would love to see uh, a miraculous healing in his body. Uh, Father, we, we pray for that, but we pray that your will be done and that you would be glorified in his life and uh, in Catherine and Braden's lives, Father. We lift them up to you as well. We pray that you would comfort them in this time, this difficult time that they're going through. We pray that you would give them strength and encouragement, uh, Lord, as they uh, do all that they can to show their love for uh, Jeremy as he's in the hospital today. And we pray, God, that you would just strengthen them as a family <clears throat> draw them closer to you and uh, and help them, Lord, to give you the glory in all that they're going through. God, we thank you, Lord, for our sister Cindy. Um, we have missed her, Father. We pray, God, that you would pour out your blessings on her as she's been dealing with this difficult time with her back. We pray, God, that you would um, give the doctors wisdom and uh, provide the opportunity for them to uh, go in and uh, correct whatever it is that's going on and uh, Lord that you would bring relief to um, to Cindy to uh, this pain that she's been dealing with and that she would be able to uh, get up and do the things that you want her to do Father that she needs to be doing for your purpose and glory that has uh, been almost impossible with uh, this pain that she's been dealing with Father we pray that you would bring healing to her and uh, we thank you Father for touching her body God, we lift up uh, Ted to you. We pray your blessings on him as he's been uh, going through this difficult time in his life. And, and we pray for Jean and all of their family that you would give them strength and comfort them and and uh, pour out your, your grace and mercy on them, Father, as they're uh, dealing with this difficult time with Ted. And uh, we pray for healing on his body as well, Father. God, we lift up Tiny to you. We pray your blessings on her. We pray that you would... Uh, bring healing to her mind and body so that she can uh, return home and uh, and be able to get back to a a, um, a regular life, Lord, that, that she has been used to. And uh, we thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers for her. And God, we lift up Charles to you and Mary. Uh, as Charles has um, been going through this difficult time, Father, we, uh, we pray. Father, for a miraculous healing, uh, and we pray to God that, that there would be healing in his body, but uh, we know, God, that you are sovereign, and uh, we just uh, we lift him up to you, and uh, we pray, Father, uh, for your name to be glorified in his life, and uh, 
We pray for Mary for comfort and grace in this time, Father, as she's uh, dealing with this difficult time um, with the, the man that she has loved for many years. God, we lift up Elisa to you. We pray for your healing touch on her, on her on thyroid, this tumor, and, and God, that the doctors would uh, know what to do and how to uh, treat it and, and get rid of it. And uh, God, we pray for your blessings on all of her family, that they would uh, see your hand of mercy in her life and that they would turn to you and uh, choose to honor you in uh, through this situation, Father. God, we lift up Tony to you. We pray for your continued healing for him. And uh, Lord, we lift up uh, Teresa to you as she will uh, be going in for surgery tomorrow. Lord, we pray your blessings on her. We pray that you would just pour out your peace on her and comfort. Uh, we pray your blessings on David and, and Lord, that you would give him strength and encouragement in this time. And Father, we uh, lift up the doctors to you, Father. We pray that you would uh, guide them and direct them in the work that they're going to be doing. We pray that you would give them wisdom and help them, uh, Lord, to do uh, what you are, are calling them to do and uh, to um, make whatever repairs are necessary in, in Teresa's neck. Father, we, we thank you, God, that you have provided a way for us to be able to come to you and to honor you uh, in prayer and, and to worship you and yet to be able to uh, lay down our petitions at your feet, Father. We praise you, God, for hearing our prayers. I thank you, Father, for each one that is online today. And as we lift them up to you, Father, I pray your blessings, strength, and encouragement in, uh, in each one of them, that you would uh, continue to work in their lives, drawing them closer to you and giving them the desire to, to glorify your name in their lives. God, we praise you. We thank you for this morning. We give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, uh, good morning, Pastor. Good to see you this morning. Um, I guess that is all that we have online this morning, so we're going to go ahead and get started, and uh, I'm just going to go down the list here of everyone as they logged in, and um, please uh, join me with prayer as we lift up each one of you that are online. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, again, uh, for the opportunity to be able to come to you in prayer each morning, uh, Lord, to spend time with you to spend time together as a family uh, through uh, through this media opportunity, Father. We pray uh, your blessings on each one that is that is tuned in with us here online, and uh, for those that will be uh, watching later on. God, we pray your blessings on each one of them. Father, I thank you for uh, Miss Carly. I pray your blessings on her. Thank you, Father, for her desire to uh, honor you with the talents you have given her through her voice and. And, uh, Father, that you would uh, continue to uh, work in her life as she, um, as she continues to bless our church family through all the things that she does for us um, all week long and, and on Sundays, Father. We, we thank you for her. We thank you for uh, Pastor Jaron. We pray your blessings on him. Thank you, God, that you have um, brought him to be a part of this church family. Uh, to shepherd your people. Father, we pray, God, that you would continue to uh, grow him in you, grow him in knowledge and understanding of your word and in the wisdom that only comes from you, Father. We pray, God, that you would uh, just continue to pour into his life as he shares with uh, your church family um, the wisdom that you have given him and the, an understanding of um, who you are and an understand, a greater understanding of who you desire for each one of us to be. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the love that he has for your word, for the love that he has for your church family. And uh, we pray your blessings on um, both Pastor and Carly and their marriage, their home, and their family. We thank you, God, for them. We pray your blessings on them. We lift up uh, little Hannah and, and Carlin to you and, and the new baby, Father. We pray your blessings on each of them. And, uh, God, that you would uh, work in their lives as they grow to know you. And, God, that you would draw them to you and um, give them the desire to seek you out all the days of their lives, Father. <clears throat> Father, I thank you uh, for uh, Miss Helen, for the joy that she is in our church family. I thank you, Father, for the love that she has for her family. And, uh, God, we just praise you uh, for 
uh, bringing her to be a part of our church family. We pray that you would continue to work in her life, strengthening her and her walk with you and her relationship with you as she grows to uh, become uh, the, the daughter that you have called her to be uh, for you, our great father. Lord, we pray for all of her family, for uh, David and and Josephine, for Bonita, for Floyd and Angie and, and uh, all of her grandchildren and, and great-grandchildren. Lord, we lift them all up to you. We pray your blessings on all of them. We thank you for them, Father, for the blessing that they are to our church family. God, we lift up uh, uh, David and Teresa to you. We thank you for them. We thank you for the blessing that that they have been in in our church family, Lord, for the desire that you have given Teresa to to uh, serve and to um, minister to the church family, Lord. We pray that you would continue to use her and uh, work in, in David and, and Teresa's lives to uh, show them where you want them to be for your purpose and for your glory, where they uh, need to be, Father, in order to um, honor you in their lives, what they need to be doing for your glory. Yeah, we pray your blessings on their home, on their marriage, on their children and grandchildren, Father, that you would uh, continue to uh, demonstrate your love, your grace, and your mercy to this family. And, Father, that they would uh, be drawn to you and desire to uh, live their lives for you and for your purpose. God, we praise you for them. We give you the glory for them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for Miss Christy and for uh, Carl and, and all of their family. God, we thank you for them. We thank you for the for bringing them to be a part of our church family. Lord, we lift them all up to you for for um, their um, for Elijah and Jacob. Uh, Lord, we pray for salvation for them. Lord, we we pray for um, uh, their other uh, older children, Father. We lift them up to you, God. We lift up uh, Carl Jr. and, and Carly and, and little Philip to you. We pray your blessings on them. Uh, God, we thank you for this family. We pray your blessings on them. We pray, God, that you would continue to work in their lives, drawing them closer to you, Father. We pray that uh, you would uh, demonstrate your, uh, your grace and mercy to Carl and uh, in his... Uh, pursuit to provide for his family. Father, we pray that you would uh, pour out your blessings on him and uh, God, that he would um, learn to uh, to honor you and glorify you in his life and, and to put you first in all things, Father. We pray, God, that you would continue to work in this beautiful family. We pray your blessings on them. We thank you for them, Father. We thank you for the blessing that they've been to our church family. We uh, praise you and we give you the glory and the honor in the name of Jesus. Father, for the rest of our church family, we lift them all up to you. Um, God, we, there are so many who are hurting, so many who are, um, who are lost, who have heard your word and have not yet received the truth of your word, have not yet received your salvation. Lord, we pray for those in our church family who uh, are seeking you out, Father, that you would uh, continue to pour into their lives, drawing them closer to you. God, that you would make us a church family of uh, dedicated to prayer. Uh, Father, that you would instill within each of us the understanding of the importance of prayer, the importance of spending time each day, not just a few minutes in the morning or in the evening or before each meal, but God, to be in prayer um, constantly uh, without ceasing, Father, that we would learn to walk with you daily, um, hour through hour, minute through minute, Father, <clears throat> to learn to uh, bring glory to your name in all that we do. God, grow us to be a, a, a church that is faithful to the work that you've called us to do, Father, a church that is uh, that desires to seek the lost, to share your word with the lost in this community. There are so many, Father. We pray, Father, that you would use us, that you would grow us uh, for your purpose and glory, for the growing of your kingdom here on this earth. And God, that many more would come to the knowledge of your saving grace uh, through the work that we're doing. And uh, Lord, we lift up all of those who do service for our church. We pray your blessings on them and for um, our ministries that that reach out to our communities. We pray that you would continue to use them and grow them and build them up for your purpose and for your glory. 
God, we thank you for this time that you've given us. We praise you, Father, for what you're doing in us, and we praise you, God, that you're not done with us yet and that you're still working in our lives to grow us to become the children that you desire for us to be for your purpose and glory. We praise you, God, and we give you the glory. In the name of Jesus, amen. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, <clears throat> I can't get it cleared out. <clears throat> so, anyway, um, this morning, uh, wow, it's already 9.25. <clears throat> I apologize. <clears throat> um, I am reading our devotion again this morning out of... Uh, Unto the Hills by Billy Graham. And uh, this morning's reading is, is out of Matthew chapter 28. We're, we're kind of um, going back to, uh, to Easter time, but it is a, um, he puts a, a little bit of a, a twist on that. And so we're going to, uh, we're going to read Matthew chapter 28, uh, verses 1 through 6. I do have it here online for you. And um, so if you, if you have your Bible, please turn with me. Otherwise, uh, I've got it there online. So Matthew 28, verses 1 through 6, uh, starting with verse 1. It says, After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, <clears throat> excuse me, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to view the tomb. There was a violent earthquake because an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and approached the tomb. He rolled back the stone and was sitting on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing as, was as white as snow. The guards were so shaken by fear of him that they became like dead men. The angel told the women, Don't be afraid, because I know you were looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Amen. Praise God. We do not serve a... A idol. We don't serve a dead man. We we don't serve someone who um, who is pretending to be. Uh, Jesus demonstrated his love and power as the Son of God while he was here on this earth, and um, we all of us uh, took part in his crucifixion as we um, as we commit sin and. We nailed him to the cross, and he took on all of our sin. He took the wrath of God for us so that um, we would not have to receive his true judgment, the judgment that we deserve. And uh, praise God that uh, Jesus not only took God's wrath um, into the depths of the earth, but he rose again, conquering death and being the first fruits of the resurrection we now have the hope and the knowledge and understanding that when we die, we too will be resurrected to a new life. Praise God for that. Um, so Billy Graham says in his, um, in his devotion this morning that the title is called The Defeat of Death. <clears throat> and he says, quoting out of Matthew 28, verses 2 through 4, which we just read, he says, On the third day after his death, the Bible says, and behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow, and the fear of him the keepers did shake, and for the fear of him the keepers did shake and became as dead men. <clears throat> he says, though some Bible students have tried to estimate how much the stone weighed, we do not need to speculate because Jesus could have come out of that tomb whether the stone was there or not. The Bible mentions it so that generations to come can know something of the tremendous miracle of resurrection that took place. As Mary looked into the tomb, she saw two angels in white sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet where the body of Jesus had lain. And you can find that in John chapter 20. And he says, then one of the angels who was sitting outside the tomb proclaimed the greatest message the world has ever heard. He is not here, for he is risen. Those few words changed the history of the universe. Darkness and despair died. Hope and anticipation were born in the hearts of men. 
praise God that uh, we have a hope that um, conquers not only despair, depression, and um, any other ailments, even our, our bodies breaking down in sickness, um, the hope of resurrection, the hope of what is to come, the hope and knowledge that one day um, we will uh, be raised again in, with new bodies that do not hurt, new bodies that are not in pain, that do not break down, and do not receive illness. Praise God for that. Praise God that we have a risen Savior and uh, not someone who's still hanging on a cross, not someone who is dead and buried, but someone who is alive and sitting at the right hand of God. Praise God. And uh, thank you for joining me this morning. God bless you in this new week. I, I hope and pray that, that through this week you'll grow into a deeper, um, stronger relationship with our Lord and Savior. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow.